hello my dear students in this class i am going to explain the expression for electric potential at any point due to a short electric dipole in the last class already i have discussed the expression for electric potential at a point due to the point charge but in this class i am going to explain electric potential at any point due to the short electric dipole here yeah, the dipole means this is dipole the dipole means the two charges separated by a small distance here at point a this is negative charge at point b this is positive charge these two point charges separated by a small distance to a this is electric dipole here due to this dipole at this point p some electric potential is produced the electric potential at any point or any general point due to this short electric dipole here consider a short electric dipole it's having a charges minus q and plus q separated by small distance to a and the dipole moment p here p is the point at which electric potential or electric dipole moment is to be calculated and r is the distance from the center of the dipole this is the r r is the distance from the center of the dipole the line op is equal to r here the line op is equal to small r which makes a certain angle theta the electric potential at a point p the electric potential at point p at a distance r1 electric potential at p lying at a distance r1 from this positive charge we know the formula electric potential that is v is equal to 1 divided by 4 5 epsilon not q divided by r1 electric potential due to this positive charge electric potential due to this positive charge and electric potential due to the negative charge here v1 is the electric potential due to the positive charge that is v1 is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon q divided by r1 equation number 1 and electric potential at this point p lying at a distance r2 due to the negative charge that is v2 is equal to v2 is equal to 1 divided by 4 5 epsilon not q divided by r2 that is equation number 2 the electric potential at any point due to the short electric dipole but the net electric dipole at this point p electric due to the positive dipole or due to this positive charge the electric potential is produced at this point is v1 is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r1 due to the negative charge is that is also 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r2 now the net electric potential at this point p due to the dipole is that is v is equal to v1 plus v2 now substitute these two values in this equation we get v is equal to 1 divided by v is equal to 1 divided by 4 5 epsilon not q divided by r1 minus 1 divided by 4 5 epsilon not q divided by r2 here v1 is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r1 this is the electric potential at point p due to the positive charge v2 is equal to minus 1 divided by minus 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r2 which is the expression for electric potential due to the negative charge the net electric potential at this point p due to the dipole is that is v is equal to v1 plus v2 therefore v is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r1 minus 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r2 we take the common value outside that is v is equal to q divided by 4 5 epsilon not v is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon not then 1 divided by r1 
minus 1 divided by R2. Then we get the equation V is equal to Q divided by 4, 5 epsilon naught R2 minus R1 divided by R1 into R2. When you are cross multiplying this value, we get V is equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R2 minus R1 divided by R1 into R2. R2 minus R1 divided by R1 into R2. This is equation number 3. Then from this triangle, when you are applying the cosine rule for the triangle BOP and triangle AOP, we know the formula A plus B whole square. Here, when you are applying the cosine rule to cosine rule to this triangle BOP. Here when we are applying the cosine rule to triangle BOP, we get the equation. This is R1. From using Pythagoras theorem, R1 square is equal to R square plus A square minus 2RA cos theta. 2RA cos theta. This is equation number 4. Again applying the cosine rule to the triangle AOP. When you are applying the cosine rule to triangle AOP, here cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Therefore, R2 square is equal to R square plus A square minus 2RA. R square plus A square minus 2RA. For this R1 which makes a certain angle theta. Here for this R2 which makes an angle pi minus theta. Therefore, I can write this equation R square plus A square minus 2 R A into cos phi minus theta. This is equation number 5. Subtracting equation 4 from equation 5, we get R2 square minus R1 square is equal to minus 2 R A cos phi minus theta. 2 R A minus Theta. Here when you are subtracting equation 4 from equation 5, these values are cancel each other. We get R2 square minus R1 square is equal to minus 2 RA cos phi minus theta minus of minus 2 RA cos theta. 2 RA cos theta. Here it is in the form of A square minus B square. We know the formula. A square minus B square is equal to a plus B and A minus B. That's why I write this equation R2 minus R1 into R2 plus R1. R2 minus R1 into R2 plus R1. This is equal to 2 R A cos theta. 2 R A cos theta plus 2 R A cos theta. Therefore, 2 R A cos theta plus 2 R A cos theta we get the equation 4 or a cos theta. This is equation number 6. But here in this diagram, the small r is very very greater than a. Small r is very very greater than a. Here this is a plus a 2a. 2a is the length of the electric dipole. Small r is R is the distance between the center of the electric dipole to electric potential at which point is calculated. If R is very greater than A for short electric dipole, for short electric dipole, here for the short electric dipole, R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R. Then the equation 6 becomes R2 minus R1 R2 minus R1 into R plus R when if R is very greater than A for the short electric dipole R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R now we get this equation R plus R is equal to 2 in R into 2A cos theta 2R into 2A cos theta therefore we write this equation R2 minus R1. R plus R is that is 2R. 2R is equal to 
टू आर इन टू टू ए कॉस्टिटा हियर टू आर एंड टू आर गेट कैंसल इच अदर फाइनली वी गेट द इक्वेशन आर टू माइनस आर वन इज इक्वल टू टू ए कॉस्टिटा आर टू माइनस आर वन इज इक्वल टू टू ए कॉस्टिटा दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन substitute this equation number 7 in equation number 3 we know the equation number 3 formula v is equal to that is equation number 3 here substitute that value r2 minus r1 value in this equation equation number 3 is the net electric potential at point p here which is the expression for the net electric potential at point p due to the electric dipole substitute that value in this equation we get Here, when you are substituting the equation number seven in equation number three, that is, the equation number three is P is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught R two minus R one divided by R one into R two. Now substitute this value, that is, R two minus R one is equal to two a cos theta. Substitute this value in this equation. Here that is v is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught r two minus r one divided by r one into r two. Here we get v is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught into r two minus r one is equal to that is two a into cos theta divided by r one is equal to r two. Here r one is equal to r two is equal to r. Then we get the equation r into r. Here v is equal to one divided by Four five epsilon naught. Therefore, here two a into cos theta. Here, the electric dipole moment P is equal to the electric dipole moment means it is a product of strength of the either pole and dipole length. The strength of the either pole and dipole length is called electric dipole. From using this equation, here I write this equation: one divided by four five epsilon naught. Or here, this is q divided by four pi epsilon naught. Now one divided by four pi epsilon naught. That is q into two a. Q into two a into cos theta divided by r into r is that is r square. Q into two a. It is the product of strength of the either pole. It may be positive charge. It may be negative charge. The product of the strength of the either pole and dipole length is called electric dipole moment. Here it is mathematically denoted by the symbol p. Now the electric potential due to the electric dipole is p is equal to One divided by four five epsilon naught p cos theta divided by r square p is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught p cos theta divided by r square. This is the expression for electric potential at any point due to a short electric dipole. Here the minus q and plus q. These are the Two point charges. These two point charges are separated by a small distance to a. And electric potential at any point due to the short electric dipole, we get the equation P is equal to one divided by four five epsilon naught into P cos theta divided by r square, which is the expression for the potential at any point due to a short electric dipole.